Good evening. This is Cindy from True Dirt. And I have not videotaped in a while because we've had rain and wind and wind and rain. And it's just been the way it is. You can see we have pallets all along that south side. That's just until we get the berm put on. We want to make sure those don't wobble in the wind. And then uh, we have both ends secured with plywood. There's a little opening there right now. But we keep that secured during the day. Um, and once we get that berm on, we need to get the ends finished so that uh, when we get some strong wind, things don't blow away like we have had. So I, I just didn't want to show you guys pictures of like mud and, you know, things aren't looking so good and, you know, what that's not exciting. But what is exciting is Miles and I are getting the berm on the north side. That first part, oh my gosh, it was so windy. Oh Lord, we argued, what can I say? But today is a beautiful day. It's calm, there's no wind, and it's just going along fabulously. So a couple things we found is with all this rain, where we put, where we had dug the, um, oh, that, that trench with the tubing in it, kind of sank right here at this end. So we've kind of got some, we got to do some reinforcing. And then when we added the dirt on the side, it kind of sunk the siding in a little bit. So we're going to have to evaluate that. Another lesson learned. We need to do a better job of refilling the dirt. So as you can see, that plywood right there is four feet. And Russ wanted uh, the dirt up to about four feet, and it will shrink back to like three and a half. I got to do some a retaining wall here in this corner, but I'm going to wait till we get our input in, and so that's why that's a little lower. And then we're about three and a half feet. I decided we're not going to put it up to four feet because of our sinking problem, and we're just going to come back in about a couple weeks and just keep adding dirt until we get to the right level, kind of gradually do it. So we put on like a couple loads of uh, clay, and then Miles finishes it on the top with a couple loads of uh, topsoil. And you can see that we're we're a good like five feet out from the so we got we got the, the two inch foam board that's cut um, two feet wide and then it's eight foot long so it's basically a four by eight sheet cut in half so that's on the bottom and then we put the plastic over the top and then um, I'll show you over here maybe at the very end we can show you what the, it's kind of it's been hard to video because. Miles and I are like working together, so it's like there's nobody to video. So, yes, I'm going to show you right now what it looks like. I think he's going to go get some more foam board. But we kind of use some tape to keep it up. But then I remove that because I don't want the tape then to get stuck onto the. So I don't know. You can see the. There, see there's the pink foam board underneath there. So it goes right up against it, and it's about out two feet. Looks like, and then you can see the side of the building goes straight down. So, that is what's happening tonight. And I'll back up here. So I think uh, we're gonna finish this uh, side here. We need to make sure that we have the dirt level so that it's right at the bottom of the building so we do that get that smoothed out and then um, anyway so that means one half of our building the north side is secured so that is the update June 23rd Tuesday June 23rd over and out check it out